season. Yeah, he did. Everything you could yeah, expect. Yeah, he did. 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 Yeah, he it's always good to win games. Uh, I mean, it was just the next game, and so happened they had to be the next game on the schedule, so we just had to pour through. I see you made sure to put on those glasses before you did this interview. You sent a message with them? Nah, I mean, I feel like I set the trend. Hey, Kevin. Rivion, growing up in eastern North Carolina, getting to play at State, what does it mean to you to beat Carolina? Hey, man, just another game. I mean... I be trolling, you know. I made I made a lot of comments, but I just like to troll, you know. I like to get under people's skin, you know. So that's how that went. But uh, it feels good to win, beat North Carolina teams because we're in North Carolina. It's always like who run North Carolina, so I feel like we're running it this year. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, how would you describe that run? Jarkel Joyner went on to kind of lit this building on fire. Uh, I would have to say uh, that's Jarkel Joyner for you right there. Uh, that's Jarkel Joyner in full effect. Uh, I don't think that he's been on a run like that this year that was more electric to, in my eyes. Uh, that, that, that run woke me up, you know. Uh, I was kind of, you know, gloomy in there. It was kind of down, I feel like. But that run he had, it was crazy. It was, it was electric. How do you describe this game as a whole? Good game. A lot of ups and downs for us, uh, but we just pulled through. Uh, coach told us uh, we whoever want to play in early games like 12 p.m., 1 p.m., it's about who want to play. And I feel like we wanted to play and we wanted it more. You feel like you kind of ended their season in a way for that? I mean, they're yeah, really, really on the ropes now. Uh, I don't know if we ended our season, but hey, if we did, then that's just even better, I guess. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, that was probably like the top, one of the top, top loudest I ever heard in my career here. So I had to, you know, I was yelling too. <laughs> Y you said y'all sent a message that you guys are the team to beat in North Carolina right now. Yeah, I mean, I feel like we've stood on that all season. Uh, Duke came in here. We set them on dubs. Uh, they just came in here. We beat them. So we just got to finish it out at Duke at the end of the year, and then we'll we'll, we'll talk again. Well, you got another team coming on Wednesday, don't you? Oh, wait. Yeah. My fault, wait. We got them on Wednesday. That's the next one. Church, last year you guys lost 21 games. This is win number 21. What does that mean? Is there, is there, you know, oh my that mean the most, you know, we got guys in here, older guys, senior year guys, so they just mean more to me, you know, that they can go out like this, go out on a high road, go out winning games and finish their career up strong. And to have guys like DJ and Jarkel and Jack come in here and, and, and add to this team, I mean, those guys were huge today. Uh, what is that? You know, how, first, how I would like to say shout out to Jack because he came back, uh, first home game back, so shout out to him. I respect him a lot. That's my guy. And to have guys like that on my team, it just motivate me, help me. Uh, I know that those guys that have my back, so that just makes me, you feel me, careless. So what happened uh, with uh, with Pete there? Did, uh, where did he get you? And uh, I feel like he elbowed me a little bit in my stomach, but we ain't gonna, I ain't going to say it was intentional. I never say it's intentional. Uh, we, got the, we got the win, so it's cool. We got going in the game, and that gave us that energy spark that we needed that last push. So DJ Jarkow says to you, set some ball screens for me. What would you say to him after his little 7 out run there? Oh man, I was like, bro, I, I said, you, you might be the toughest point guard I ever played with. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that guy is phenomenal, man. I love him, man. What's been the biggest improvement since the beginning of the year? When you started out, you weren't the same player you are now. What are you doing different? Uh, just finding my groove, you know. It took me a second to get acquainted, you know. Um, my, my role obviously got larger when Dusan went down, so I've just been trying to do the best I can to, you know, pick up where he left off, you know, just keep it going and try to make an impact every single game, every time we step on the court. You know, beat two rivals, I mean, UNC, you know, in our home court. And um, just, you know, just keep stacking days and, and, you know, carry out momentum in the march. There was one play in the first half where Jack came driving in on a fast break and then made that extra pass to you in the corner and you buried the three. Yeah. Does that kind of epitomize, you know, the, the team work, the, the, the togetherness of this team? That's 100% chemistry. Like, I always say chemistry, that's 100% chemistry. Uh, just knowing where to find each other, um, you know, I think it all starts off the court and talking about it, having conversations, and it makes it a lot easier to play when you know guys know which you know what you like and your strengths and weaknesses. Twice in this game, this offense went on 7-0 runs and under a minute. What allows you all to kind of get hot and get hot so quickly and keep it going? Well, I think um, our offense, uh, you have to give something up. Like, I think you can't just. Um, you know, I think with Burns, he draws a lot of attention. Everyone, all of our guards, we draw a lot of attention on the perimeter. So um, every team has to give something up, and you know, I think that's kind of where we start. We just start clicking, and you know, just keep attacking, just keep keep that momentum going. Yeah.
Thank you. It was right and it, that was really loud, but it's smaller though. But this gym was rocking today, man. It was crazy. Jar did you just kind of feel like you could take over at that you know at that point late in the game like that? Because <laughs> I think there was a stretch where you had seven straight, you know, three straight yes, in, baskets. Did did you just feel it? Yes, sir, I was feeling. I was feeling it today, man. Just. You know, God blessed me to make a make a bunch of shots today, and uh, just confidence, man. My teammates got confidence in me. My coaches got confidence in me, and I played with a lot of confidence as well. This team lost 21 games last year. Today is win number 21. <laughs> what does that mean to you? It's crazy, man. It's crazy. This is like uh, um, I stated earlier. This is the most fun I ever had in my college career, man. Just fun, man. And winning, winning, take care of so. it. I would imagine that alley oop off the uh, off the transition <laughs> late was probably. Uh, Pretty rank, oh, high definitely. ranking up there too, Most right? Definitely. Yes, sir. Uh, my teammates didn't know I was gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, that jerk. Yes, sir. I feel like I felt like he felt disrespected, you know. So he took it upon himself and did what he did. And what happened with you and Nance on that play where you were down on the floor? Uh, I, I think I was coming over, but he just kind of gave me a shrug in the stomach. But I wasn't expecting it, so just kinda, yeah, solar yeah, plexus. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it, so that my win went away. <laughs>